and so will the hero of this unique story. Newcastle, New South Wales, and a war factory in full blast. Here you can watch the rapid evolution of steel helmets. First, white hot metal is rolled to the right thickness, it's cut into squares, and still at white heat, it's plunged into a bath to be toughened and tempered. In the press, one minute a tin plate, the next a tin hat, almost complete. Take off the rough edges and then paint with a spray gun. Australia's making them by the thousand, and though of course they're well made, they have to be tested in the usual manner. The rubber lining would have saved him from anything but a headache, and that's the right sort of hat when there's a war on. The war at sea continues with the Nazis doing their damnedest to turn the